still some people sleeping around here. Um, one of the things that you hear me talk a lot about is kind of being healthy and fit so you can do the things that you want to do. Well, today is one of those days for me because at the end of today, I get to see a, a concert tonight. I'm going into San Francisco to see a live show. Between between now and then, there's a heck of a lot of stuff I got to do. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head out to the gym. So why don't you spend the day with me? Let's go. So we made it to the gym and I want to talk for just a second about the gym. I go to the gym um, three to four times a week and primarily I do strength training. I do do some cardio to warm up and cool down, but most of my cardio comes from spin classes or riding my mountain bike or hard hiking the dogs really. I like to get outside and get my heart rate up doing things like that. But that that certainly doesn't mean that you can't go to the gym and use the machines for cardio, or maybe take some classes at the gym if you belong, because the gym is a great place for that. The thing to remember, though, is you have to do more than just cardio, okay? There's kind of two sides to the equation, cardio being one, and the other is strength training. And all of us, I don't care what your age is, benefit from strength training. In addition to kind of having stronger muscles that allow you to move around the world and do the things you want to do, you're going to get uh, an improved sense of balance. Your bones are going to be stronger because the muscles are under tension and kind of keeping them healthy. Um, and it's going to slightly change your metabolism. You're going to have a benefit there too. So there's lots of really good reasons um, for strength training, and I want to encourage you to, to not neglect it. Um, and it's something we will speak about in a little more detail in a future vlog. Uh, for me, a really good example of how strength training helps me in my life, a good example is the concert tonight. You know, I'm going to have a really busy day, and I'm going to be driving into San Francisco and parking far away from the venue, probably waiting in line to get in the venue, and then once I get inside, I like to get closer to the front, and that means I have to stand. And I have to stand for, you know, two or three or four hours. If I didn't do my strength training, if I didn't take care of my core and my hips and my legs, that might not be so much fun. Uh, so I look at it as if I'm going to do kind of strength training and it's going to help me do the things that I want to do in my life, I have no problem and I'm all for it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. What's going on? How are you? Good. Okay, that's all done and out of the way. What do you say we get out of here? I'm gonna go home and grab a shower. What's going on? So I had to run down here to the office because I forgot Ticket. Yep, I still do kind of paper tickets. That's 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 the way I roll. Anyways, it's been a busy day, but it's been a good day. Um, I told you I went to the gym. I went to softball. I took the dogs for a walk. Did some stuff around the house, and here I am. It is Sunday at about at about five o'clock, and um, I still got a fair amount of energy, and I feel pretty good. And uh, I'm going into the city to go see this concert, um, and I couldn't get anyone to go with me because. I don't know, maybe they don't like this guy or this style of music. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but I know that I'm pretty darn excited um, and uh, kind of looking forward to it. I wish I could have found someone to go with me, but I guess this particular artist, for people who are near my age, maybe he's just not so popular. Um, and in fact, something has been on my chest and been bothering me a little bit. And it's kind of this attitude that I've been getting from some people around going to this concert and seeing this guy on a Sunday night. It's like, hey man, 
you're freaking 55. You shouldn't be doing that. Or you shouldn't be liking that particular guy. Um, you're going to be the oldest guy there. And you know what? If I am the oldest guy there, then I'm totally okay with that. Because who really cares? The goal tonight is for me to do something that I want to do. And I happen to really love live music. And I really like this particular guy. So um, I don't see why anyone really should be negative about anyone of any age doing what they want to do. We are lucky enough that we get to do things that we like to do when we want to do them if the opportunity presents itself. And so I'm all for that and I want to encourage everyone to freaking do whatever they want to do and don't let kind of age rules or gender rules or societal rules stop you from doing what it is that you want to do. We're in. It's a bit before showtime, but pretty stoked to be here. It should be a good show. So that was everything I hoped for and more. To be in that space with 6,000 people grooving and enjoying what Khalid was freaking laying down was transformative. And I don't care how old I get, I'm never, ever gonna stop doing that.